<laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> the Greatest Show on Earth, 2009, subtitled The Evidence for Evolution. Was that motivated because around that time, there was the rise of uh, what they called intelligent design? Well, that had come before. I mean, th this was, um, in a way, the blind watchmaker was a response to that. Yes, of course. Um, but um, now this was really to set out the evidence for evolution, which which I hadn't really done before. It, mm -hmm. it, it, I just sort of assumed it. So, I mean, assumed that everyone knew it. Well, not well, not really. Well, yes, maybe. Yes, maybe. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of misunderstanding I have found. People think that an organism adapts to its environment, and I say no. It either survives or dies. <laughs> y yes, that's right. Right. I mean, there's, and there's a great quote at the end of War of the Worlds. Where, as you remember, H.G. Wells, at the end, there's a recitation, and he says, I'm paraphrasing, he says, these, these creatures from another planet, they, they were doomed, undone, by the smallest creatures on Earth, uh, where, for, to, whom, to which we had developed immunity. Yes. And it ends with a very poetic phrase, no man lives nor dies in vain. That every, th th through the toll of a billion deaths, man has bought his birthright on this earth.